Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today's video we're going to be installing this little bad boy. So, uh, I don't know if you saw one of my previous videos, but I was not, not moaning, but I was saying one improvement that could be done onto the uh, uh, CSL uh, pedals here is that the spring for me is a little bit light uh, and uh, I wanted to make it a bit stiffer uh, and you can get this thing I uh, got this off of eBay, uh, found it got it quite cheap, I uh, got it for about 10 quid, and it's just a spring. Uh, you've got little, uh, you've got this uh, screw thing here that you can uh, preload the spring to make it tighter or looser. But yeah, so basically I wanted to get this to make the uh, pedal just a bit stiffer basically for me, so I've got more, so it's not as easy to press down, so I've got more, a bit more control over it. So yeah, so I thought i uh, make a little video and we'll see how this looks, we'll see how easy this is to fit. Uh, there's no instructions that came with it, but I've seen a picture of it uh, online on what it's supposed to look like. So we'll just get the camera down and we'll have a look and see how it, how it fits. All right, so there's pretty the good there. So what we've got here, so camera focus, we've got a bolt there and we've got a bolt there and then we've got an Allen. Oh, there you go, there you go. We've got Allen key bolt there and there. So I think it's just going to be one bolt that slides through on both. So let's take this apart. So, uh, we've got the nut and a washer. Careful not to lose them. Put them there. And then that comes off. And I think one will go in there, like so. And then this part will go straight through onto the other bit. So, we'll take this off first. And then we've got to take the other side off as well. Okay, so... That's going to sit in like that, and then let's get another one of these down the bottom, put that in there. Oh, we want to do the top of the bottom first, actually. We'll do the top first. A bit awkward, but then that slides through there. Go through there, so then you've got the washer. And then the other nut. We'll just put it on loose for the moment and then we'll tighten it all up once it's all on. Oh, it's a bit fiddly because the nut's very small. There we go. All right, so that's the top bit on. Okay, so you can see that in place. And then <clears throat> and that will go in there. Put a bit of tension on it. Will that go slide back? Okay, that doesn't slide back any further. You can see look, so that obviously goes back to a certain point. Uh, preload that in, pull that in, there we go, get that in to go there, okay, washer, the nut on, alright, let's take the slack up, let's tighten that up where we want it, and it looks like that just sort of sits into the back of the slot there, as you can see there, so it's just as the slot tapers down uh, I'll do my tools here we go all right let's uh this little tighten up so they've got nylon nuts on these there we have better and then let's do the top one All right, so that looks on there. Looks good. Looks all right, actually. <clears throat> you can get you can get different colours. So this one, obviously, I've just gone for the all silver. Uh, and you got this thing here that shows you preload, so you can tighten it or loosen it up. But at the moment, okay, that feels a lot better already, a lot stiffer. And then apparently, if you take this down. I think if you have it all the way up, it's at its loosest. And then as you wind it down, it's a bit stiffer. Let me get in it and feel on the pedal. Oh wow, yes, definitely.
yeah there's a lot more resistance there so all he needs to do now is just fiddle about with this preset to see where uh it will feel best for me uh but yeah so yeah so i think that's a little bit that's a good improvement uh like i said it was like i got it for 10 quid off ebay i think you can get it between 10 and 20 quid if you're looking for something that just gives you a bit more resistance with the CSL Fanatec pedals, this is probably I. I don't think I can. I don't think there's anything else out there at the moment that, that does it. So, uh, but this definitely does help. Uh, so yeah, so that'll do it for this video. I'm going to be looking forward to giving it a run now. Just do got, need to dial in the setting to see what's best, you know, uh, resistance-wise. But yeah, that's definitely uh, more resistance for what I'm looking for. Okay, that'll do it for this video. Uh, I hope it's just a little fun video. Uh, if you're looking at getting this thing. Uh, I, well, I I don't recommend it yet, but what I've, from my first impressions, it does add resistance. So uh, for 10 quid, it's worth a punt in it. Okay, okay, guys, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, guys, bye. Hey, y'all. All right, just want to quickly add this to the end of the video, and I've just finished the video, but I've just tightened everything up on the spring. Uh, I dialed it down as in the preload and wow it makes a massive difference it really firms it up so I'll just show you where I've got it and uh, yeah it does work so as you can see that's all of the uh, wind you got on the screw and you can just see I've probably got what uh, about three quarters of it wound out and there's probably about a quarter of it left and that's the position that I've got it in and that makes a massive difference uh, it's actually heavier now than my brake pedal, uh, but you can really like you can really modulate the accelerator so much better now. So I'm looking forward to testing this out in game. But yeah, definitely. So if I'm coming out corner, I only want half power with this spring. It really does help. Okay, yeah. So that's it. I just wanted to add this to the end of this video. I didn't want to make a separate video on that at all. But yeah, definitely, I do recommend it now. Actually, so for the money for 10, 15 quid, whatever it costs on eBay, if you're looking for a, a spring that gives the uh, accelerator a firmer feel this this product definitely does do it so yeah big thumbs up for me okay catch you on the next one see you later guys bye